Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the uh, Node.js and Express series. This episode, we're going to be learning about the 404 route and also route parameters. So, yeah, so let's get right into it, okay? So, before we ex start the explanation and start coding and stuff, let's actually start the server. And remember, now that we know how to use NodeMon, let's actually start using it, you know? So it makes, because it makes our life, life way easier, you know? So we'll do NodeMon app.js, and hopefully everything goes well. Do, 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 do. Okay, let that load. Good, started. All right, so I'll open the server real quick. Or website, I mean. Okay, so I have it right here. And uh, yeah, so um yeah so what we're gonna learn first is called the 404 route okay that's what i call it at least and um basically if you know what a 404 is it's a good job if you don't well basically it's just a error message that comes up whenever you go to a web page that doesn't exist for example let's say you go to um bigbootyjudy.com slash bigbooty123.html if bigbooty123.html doesn't even exist, then you get a 404 uh, error, okay? And um, I don't know if that website exists. I hope uh, I hope not, but anyway. Um, so the way it works with routes is basically if you go to a route that doesn't exist, then you'll get the 404 error or whatever you choose to display to the user, okay? So it's very simple, okay? Um, so how do we do this, right? So the way we do it is basically by doing uh, app.get and then it's everything everything is going to be the same except instead of a slash or anything like that you just do a star okay so it's the star route i guess you could also call it so star route and then function make sure you have your parameters and everything rec res boom shakalaka res and um error uh that route doesn't exist you are lost Okay, cool. So we have this now, and let's go ahead and test it out, okay? So hopefully if Nobon worked correctly, it's already restarting. If it worked correctly, uh, so I hopefully it did. So we're going to go ahead and restart. Uh, let's see. So there we go. Not restart, I mean, but, you know, go to the thing. So we're going to go to hello. Okay, it says cannot get hello. Let's see why that... Uh, oh, I, I started the wrong server, okay. So that's one of my other things I'm working with. So if I go back here, let's find it. Um, I'm so lost. Okay, here, and then give me website. Let's close this. Right click, open thingy. Okay, yeah, so I had the wrong one open. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, so, oh, uh, app crash. Okay, let's see, what is the error? Um, cannot find module index.js. Oh, okay, so basically what that means is when you did nodemon and you don't provide, you know, app.js, it's just going to look inside of your package.json and look at what the, um, what's it called, where is it? Uh, maybe it's not here, but, oh yeah, the main right here, it's going to look to the main, it's going to say index.js, it's going to look for the default um, file to start, okay? We set it to the defaults, but it actually should be app.js, so if we change that and save it, then it'll work this time, so nodemon. Okay, so it works. So basically, um, if you don't provide the, the correct, um, or if you don't provide, you know, a node mod and then a, an argument here saying where you're, where you're start it, it's just going to look in your package.json for it, and so you better hope that's right. So if not, just, just run it like this then, and there you go. So anyway, so let's go ahead and look at our uh, website now. It's a reload. Awesome. It says, hello, welcome to the hello route. Awesome. So now let's go to a, a route that doesn't exist. So doggy or something like that. Error, that route doesn't exist. You are lost. Error that route. Okay, good. So it, it works. It works. It works. So if we go to the home route, likewise, it'll go to the correct route. Looks good to me. Okay, so that's cool, right? So let's see. Well, actually, let me do this. I'm going to split the screen real quick. One second. Okay, cool. So we have it now. Um, so, so now I don't have to keep dragging and stuff. So yeah, that's way easier. So now, um, let's see here. Let me explain something to you. Um, if you're wondering if the order of how the routes are set up uh, matters, it actually does. So let's go ahead and cut this and then paste it in front here. So that's paste now. And let's reload. And it says error. That route doesn't, doesn't exist. You are lost. How? Why would it do that? I mean, we went to the, the root route and we have a route for that. So why would it do that? Likewise, if you go to hello, 
it still says 404 error basically that's what, you know that's what i call it right so it still says the the error can't find the route that is because the way routes work it goes it goes through each route and it tries to find the one it's looking for right so it's trying to find this one right the root route or no actually run hello so it's trying to go it's going to go through through each of these one by one one two three four it's going to go to the third one it's going to say oh we found the hello route okay cool so we'll, we'll run this one but actually this star here applies to every single route okay so meaning it's not actually saying to the node server that it's going to look for any routes that don't exist it's actually going to look for any route basically yeah it's a little confusing but if we move it back here now it'll work because it's not gonna so let's say we go to dog right it's gonna go to dog okay this isn't dog this is not a dog route this is not a dog route oh this is a dog route okay so this basically means every single route so that's what i mean right you know so likewise if we have maybe two two hello routes okay so we'll make another hello route in front of this one now let's change the message from hello welcome to the hello route to uh die so this one will only run because it's gonna it's only gonna run the first one that it finds that matches okay so if you load here, it says die instead of hello, welcome to the hello route. So likewise, if we move it behind, boom, it says hello, welcome to the hello route. You see? So it's only going to match with the first one that comes up, okay? So that's why that is, all right? So that's that. So make sure no matter what, you always have your, your, your star route at the very end, okay? If you have a star route. So yeah. So now we're going to move on to something pretty cool. We're going to move on to something called route parameters, okay? And basically, route parameters are very important for making your website dynamic. They allow you to specify data that can be associated with your routes. So, for example, if I do localhost um, colon 3000 slash hello, or maybe slash um, book slash, and then the author's name, I could search through the database for the author's name and then, and then give the code, give the information, send it to the route, and then it just loads depending on the route. Um, the author's name. So basically, the code for the hello route is going to be the same every time, but we're going to be able to plug in information just depending on the route parameter. So if that's a little confusing, don't worry, I'll show you. So um, let's go ahead and make a route parameter. So we'll do game here, right? So we'll do slash game slash. Um, so what, what information, what you, what like, what would you associate with the game? Um, I guess you could say the the game title. So we'll do something like this: game title. Okay, but it's not exactly a route parameter yet, okay? So to make it a route parameter, you put a colon in front of it, okay? So that means that you can, this can be different, okay? This cannot be changed, but this can be changed. This can be anything you want. So let's go ahead and test that out, okay? So we'll go to, uh, we'll go to game, see what happens. Okay, that doesn't work because um, we need this at the end now. So we need a slash and we need any piece of inf information, right? It doesn't have to be game title specifically. It can be anything because of course it's a colon, it's a route parameter. Yeah, so let's choose a game title. We'll say, um, hmm, Total War. That's a, that's a fun game I've been playing. Okay, so translate it to, like, you know, URL kind of code. That's, that basically just means a space, probably. So anyway, um, so yeah, so it's Total War now. So it says, enjoy the game, okay? So likewise, if we do choose another game title, we'll say, um, Booty. So it says, enjoy the game. So it works no matter what we put as the parameter, right? That's pretty cool. So you might be wondering, Cody, why the hell should we even use this? Like, what's the point? Well, like I said, we can take this information from this part of the URL, any part of the parameters, and use it anywhere we want to. So we can um, send this to the HTML file we'll be working with maybe in the future. We can send it to here. So let's try that, okay? And the way we do that is with the request um, object, okay? So we're going to use the request object to, re to retrieve the route parameter, okay? So let's, let's see how we do this. So let's say we want to we want to say instead of enjoy the game we want to say enjoy the game named um, and then we have the name of the game right there. So how do we do that, right? So we can do that by doing just like a string, you know, some simple connect, uh, concatenation right here. So we'll do like this, blah blah blah. Okay, but right here we want the name of the route parameter, right? So how do we get that? Well, we could do rec for request dot params oops, params, not param, it's uh, plural, so rec.params, and then the name of the param, so we'll do game title, that's the name of our parameter, so game title, okay, so now, whenever we, um, you know, do the route, it's going to take this, and then fit it into here, basically, so let's test that out, so if we reload here, it'll say, enjoy the game named booty, okay, so if we change the name to something else, like, uh, um, bird, or some random, I don't know any games right now. So enjoy the game named a bird, okay? So that's 
already you can see that's pretty cool right we're not we don't even have to change the the code inside of here for this to look different right that's that's what truly makes it dynamic it's so beautiful really so all that all that takes for this to be different from from like something else like blah is just the url right so yeah um yeah <laughs> so if you don't understand right now it'll become more apparent in the future when we work with more with databases and route parameters in like a bigger uh way i guess so anyway so if you don't want to do like this you could also just like uh save it into like a, a value i guess so title and then we could do like this we could say um const title is equal to rec params dot game title so we can just save into a variable if you want to because that looks you know better it's pretty simple so then we can just reload and it's just the same thing okay so yeah that's how we do route parameters so let's try it on here just to make sure we're doing it right actually we don't need to um something i want to show you is that you can have multiple route parameters on one url or on one route so we can do another one so game title and then game creator we'll have game creator i think it's spelled like that okay and then we'll have another variable here so uh We'll just use author for that. So rec params game creator. Cool. So now we could say enter the game named something something. Um, blah blah blah. And then we could say uh, this game was created by author. I spelled author wrong. <laughs> Oops. Okay, there we go. So there, if we reload, it says that doesn't exist because we have to have the second part of the route, you know, or third, I mean. So if we add, let's just do Fortnite by the game creator will be Epic Games, like that. So enjoy the name game, enjoy the game named Fortnite. This game was created by Epic Games. That's pretty cool, guys. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, so test, play around with this, guys. Um, try it on any of your routes. Um, you can do some really cool stuff with this. Um, so I recommend again that you try it out. Um, yeah. So if you liked the video, um, leave a like, if you want to see more subscribe, um, if you have any questions at all, just leave a comment below and we could uh, discuss it. You know, I can help you out, whatever. Also, we have a link in the description that shows you all of the code from this episode. So if you want to use it as a reference or get some um, information, you check it out. And, uh, yeah. So if you liked the video, leave a like, if you want to see more subscribe and peace. <laughs>